to the planted aquarium game. Because I got a plant for you. The easiest plant in the world. That's Bacopa caroliniana. Now technically this plant is almost an herb. If you break up the leaves and stuff, they smell pretty weird. It's a stem plant that will pretty much grow in just about any environment. If you grow it above the water, it'll grow. It'll send off a bunch of flowers if you grow it above the water. If you take this outside and throw it in a ditch, it'll probably grow out there. You don't need specific substrate to grow this plant. It being a stem plant, it will send out aerial roots as it grows tall. And boy howdy, will this plant grow tall. It'll grow up to 40 inches high. <laughs> Which, I've been trying to get Corey to put some of this in his 800 gallon, but he hasn't yet. I'm still trying to get him to do it. I've got some here in my 120. I've also got some over there in the 150, and I'll show you guys some, some of the pretty footage, you know, right around here of how it grows. This plant needs to be planted in the back of your aquarium. This is 100% a background plant. First of all, it being a stem plant, Second of all, how grow it, how tall it grows. How grow it talls? Um, how tall it grows. Yeah. Propagation of this plant is super duper easy. It will not cross pollinate itself. So the way you have to do it, you have to trim the tops off and replant them into the substrate. Now this base portion right here, I've actually got it floating down in my sump for a little bit. You can see right here, it's sending off new shoots. I can actually take this portion right here with the root and plant it directly into the substrate wait a week or two or something like that, boom, you'll see some new growth coming out. This plant is super hardy. Does it need CO2? Nope, it doesn't need CO2 to grow. As I mentioned, it will pretty much grow in just about any environment, even to the point that this will grow in a brackish aquarium. You could throw this into a light brackish aquarium, not a, not a super high salinity aquarium, but a light brackish aquarium, this plant will grow in it tested that many, many years ago. This is one of the few plants that I can say I literally started out with and was like, oh my God, I know how to grow plants. And then I immediately went out and I got some of the rarest plants ever and I immediately killed all of them. But through a lot of years of practice and stuff like that, I got better and better. And I can point some of my success to this plant because it really inspired me at the time to keep going with continuing to grow plants underwater. I know I've had many failures and many successes in my aquarium hobby, and I can point to a lot of my successes coming from the encouragement I got from this plant. Now, it's been many years since I've had it. I got some more here about six months ago, and it's really propagating and coming along quite well. I like to use this in the back kind of corners of an aquarium to maybe cover up some of the equipment back there. Like maybe you have a big long heater in your display aquarium and you need something to cover it up. Here's a plant that can handle doing that because as it grows up tall, you're able to trim those tops, cut, the, cut it right down here. So like, boom, right there. See that little leaf that's coming out? A little side shoot? You'd trim it right there, replant the top next to it, and this will actually send out a whole new stem. So you can propagate quickly and easily around things to cover them up. And it, like I said, with how tall it grows, it's always gonna be in the back of your aquarium. And as it reaches closer and closer to the light, you'll know, oh, now I'm gonna have to trim that. Otherwise it's gonna grow up and out of my aquarium. I'm gonna have problems. It's gonna overtake my house and overtake the world uh, and all sorts of stuff.
Fertilization on this plant is quite easy. Uh, I am actually just utilizing Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op. Full disclosure, they are an affiliate sponsor. So, hey, if you order it down below, kudos to me, kudos to you. I use it in my aquariums and it's a fantastic fertilizer that is super easy to use. Although, saying that, this plant doesn't necessarily need fertilizer. It doesn't really need CO2, it doesn't really need fertilizer. It doesn't really need high light either, but I'm growing mine under the Fluval 3.0 fresh and plant lights. I dig these lights 100%, although I do have to kind of tone them down on some of my tanks. Um, but one of the cool things about this plant, if you're growing them under, this con under these conditions, the lower the plant is, so my tanks are 24 inches up at the top here, the lower the plant is, it grows a really vibrant, bright green. As it approaches and gets closer and closer and more light, it starts to turn a pinkish tone, a reddish, dark brown tone eventually. Uh, but I typically trim it before it gets to that point. I'll normally trim it when it gets to kind of pink. That's when I know it's about high enough in the tank that it's time to trim it. So um, hopefully I kind of covered all this stuff as far as Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was temperature. So the variance on temperature for this plant is wide. Um, I think if you're higher than 55 degrees and lower than 95 degrees, you're probably fine with this plant. I have never had an issue as far as temperature goes with this plant. And it, like I said, it grows in just about any environment. Uh, nothing special really need to, needs to be done for this other than just make sure it gets some light. You know, you don't need the fanciest lights in the world, but you do need to have some kind of plant light on it. Uh, but temperature concerns, water concerns, all that kind of stuff, not, shouldn't really be a problem for you. And hopefully this easy plant, um, you know, just helps to beautify your system and uh, makes your fish keeping a, just a, a overall better. And hopefully it brings a little bit of success to you, keeps you encouraged and keeps you moving forward. And uh, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, comments or complaints, post them down below. Let me know what's up. Uh, if I didn't answer something, I will get back to you and let you know what's up. All right, later. I'm back! <laughs>